Hello. During this presentation, we will be talking to you about your clinical health requirements. What are clinical health requirements? These are requirements mandated by our clinical partners that must be completed in order for us to place you for your clinical rotation. Your health requirements packet includes details and specific information on each of your program requirements. The health requirements packet is posted on the program website and also on the Admissions Health Science Packet website. Please do not complete these requirements until you have been instructed to do so. The Steps for Completing Health Requirements provides you with the specific due dates for each of the requirements. Have you previously completed all of your health requirements? If not, now is the time to contact your healthcare provider to schedule an appointment. You may also complete your health requirements at any walk-in clinic, such as Walgreens or CVS, or you may contact Edward Hospital's Corporate Health Department and schedule an appointment. However, before you schedule an appointment with Edward Corporate Health, please check with your insurance provider first to see if the services you require are covered by your insurance. College of DuPage partners with Edward Corporate Health to assist the students with their health requirements, and they do offer special pricing, but they do not accept insurance. Please be clear that some or all of your health requirements may be covered by insurance versus paying out of pocket. If you currently already have your health requirements completed, you're ready to complete what's called a chart review with Edward Corporate Health, and it costs $30. You will need to bring all health records with you to complete this review. Edward Corporate Health has three locations, Naperville, Plainfield, and Bolingbrook. You can only go to one of the locations in your health requirement packet for the chart review. The health requirement packet will provide you with all the information you'll need to schedule an in-person appointment. Chart reviews will not be completed over the phone. They must be in person. In the Health Requirements Packet, you'll find the Edward Corporate Health Clearance Form. This is the form we use for a chart review that Edward has on file. Therefore, you do not need to bring this document with you. To have your chart review, you must bring all of your completed health records to Edward Corporate Health. A nurse will review and sign off that you've completed your health requirements. In addition to the health requirements, you will also be required to pass a background check, with the exception of dental hygiene, drug test, and create a medical document manager, which is used to track and store your health requirements. These will all be completed through a company called Castle Branch. You will be required to pay when placing your order. Just a note, Castle Branch does offer payment plan options. To order your background check, drug test, and medical document manager, you will follow the instructions on the Steps for Completing Health Requirements document in order to obtain the appropriate package code or codes. Instructions are also found on the last page of your health packet. Click Place Order and type in the code or codes and click Submit. Review your order to make sure you have the correct program and package. Check that you agree to the terms and conditions and click Continue. Follow the instructions providing your personal information. A Castle Branch badge will be offered to you while placing your order. This is not something that you will need to purchase and will save you money, so please select No Thanks. The background check process begins automatically once you've placed your order and the results will be sent to your profile. Completion time may vary based on your previous residence history. Please monitor your email and message inbox in your Castle Branch account in the event that there is a problem. For example, if you inadvertently entered the wrong social security number or date of birth, they will be reaching out to you. Your drug test. This is not an automatic process. Please log in to your Castle Branch profile and click on your to-do list. Under drug test, you'll need to select take your drug test and then download and print the attachment which is called a chain of custody form. The form will provide you with instructions and locations on where you can complete your drug test. Your results will be sent to your profile and health sciences staff will also be able to monitor it. Again, be sure you are checking your email and inbox in your Castle Branch account. Should you fail your drug test, a medical review officer will be contacting you via telephone. This is an example of what the drug test will look like when logged into your profile to-do list. This is an example of the chain of custody form that you will print. You must bring this with you along with a government-issued photo ID to your drug test location. As they tend to be busy, it is recommended that you schedule an appointment. Locations, phone numbers, and hours are listed on the chain of custody form. Your Medical Document Manager is a secure, web-based management system used for tracking health records. After you've completed your chart review at Edward Corporate Health, this is where you will upload all of your medical documents. 
Please keep in mind that Castle Branch follows the College of DuPage Health guidelines when reviewing the documents. They are not medical professionals. The goal for your medical document manager is for all of the requirements to be labeled complete in order to be considered clear for clinicals. The first document you must upload before any medical documents will be the Edward clearance form you received at your chart review. Please do not leave Edward Corporate Health without a copy of your clearance form. You will need to scan this to your computer in order to upload it to your tracker. This is just like attaching a document to an email. If you have questions on how to scan a document, the College of DuPage Library has scanners for you to use, and they will be happy to walk you through the process. You can also download Genius Scan, which is a free app for your phone. With this app, you can take a picture of your documents, and it will automatically convert it to a PDF so you can upload it. If you receive a rejection message, please do not contact Edward Corporate Health. Instead, read the rationale as to why it was rejected and correct the document. If you are still having trouble with the rejection, contact Castle Branch's Student Services or you can email clinicalrequirements at cod.edu. Our staff also constantly monitors your accounts. This is an example of what your medical document manager looks like and where it will list all of the required documents you must upload. The status will show as incomplete until you start the upload process. To upload a document, you must first scan your document. Click the plus sign to expand the requirement you wish to upload. Then select how you want to attach your file, either from your documents on your Castle Branch account or from your computer or flash drive. Browse for your document and click Attach. You're going to attach the applicable document to each requirement for approval. Once you have successfully uploaded your document, the status will change from incomplete to in process. You need to do this for each requirement. For the health requirements, you may upload your Edward clearance form to each requirement. Yes, it sounds repetitive, but each requirement must have a document attached to it showing completion. Or, if you prefer to upload your specific immunization results to the applicable requirement, that's fine too. Once your document has been reviewed and approved, the status on your tracker will change to complete. The pending review process may take up to 72 hours. If your document has been rejected, please read the reason for rejection, correct the error, and resubmit. If, after reading the reason for rejection, you have questions, please contact Castle Branch Student Services Center or email clinicalrequirements at cod.edu for assistance. To log back into your profile on Castle Branch, please go to mycb.castlebranch.com and put in the username and password you created. There are additional requirements that will need to be uploaded to your medical document manager, such as health insurance and CPR certification, that are found on your to-do list. Please be sure to print, sign, and upload any additional documents. Our clinical partners require that you are CPR certified. Your card must be issued by the American Heart Association, and the type of certification you will need is Basic Life Support Provider. Your certification is good for two years, and it must cover you throughout the program. All students must maintain health insurance during the clinical portion of the program. If you don't currently have insurance, please see your health requirements packet or the Center for Access and Accommodations website for information on the student health insurance plans offered through the college. The due date for all of your health requirements will be found on your Steps for Completing Health Requirements instructions. Please refer to that sheet for specifics regarding the requirements. Contact the coordinator or email Clinical Requirements at cod.edu for a copy. If you need assistance, there are documents on the Program Participation Documents webpage found on each program's website. If you need to contact Castle Branch, here is their phone number. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please email clinicalrequirements at cod.edu.